Oh, I can go up from here, too. That's interesting. Oh, is that the artifact right there? I think that was the artifact. Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Ark Primitive on Primitive. We're running Primitive Plus on Shigo Islands, and we got our nice little house. The next thing we need to do, since we want to uh, start expanding and taming more stuff and things like that, I think we need irrigation and we need farm, a farm, so we can start making some kibble. Don't you think? So, first thing we need to do is irrigation. Where, where are we going to have our farm? And are we going to make it a greenhouse to begin with? Or are we just going to make a foundation? I think the farm should be out here. Right here. We can't do anything with this anyway. Can't bring water creatures up here. It just seems like a natural place. Let's, uh, you know, throw some foundations down and see what we can do. So let's see. How many foundations can we make? Hmm. Stone foundations for sure. So we got all our stone, which isn't a lot here. Let's take this stone back. Let's see what else we have in our storage cabinets and see if we have enough things to make foundations. At least a couple to get started. Yes, we should, actually. Actually, we should. We're going to have any fibre or not fibre. I don't need fibre. I need, uh, I need thatch. I probably don't need that much thatch, though. So, stone foundations. Here we go. Craft three for now. I think we can craft more. Let's throw one of them down here so we can get a good little indication. It's the stone and the wood. No, it's the thatch. It really is the thatch. <laughs> we do need more thatch. Okay, well, we have three to start with. And we'll probably make this farm plot since... Well, there's a, a ton of new seeds you can make. So I think we're going to make a really big greenhouse to try to make every seed available in Primitive, Primitive Plus, right? So let's come down into the water a bit because we know that this slopes down. And try to make our first foundation right above the water line. That looks like it's right above the water line ish, doesn't it? Question is, is that going to be kind of lined up with the house? Okay. Um, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit like there. And now is that line up with the house? I think I want to go just slightly to the right. That's going to be close enough. Let's go forward a bit. Um, yeah. Let's just... Oh, man. It's underwater. Oh. Underwater won't work. Not for a farm. So we have to come over here. You know what? I'm not going to carry too much... Car carry? I'm not going to care too much about alignment. There we go. That'll work. And then that one. And this is... This, is, this stone's going to have the nice wet look to it, which I love. And we should be able to come out this way more, I hope. Um, we'll see. We'll see how far we can come out. I need to gather more uh, thatch <laughs> and make more foundations. Okay, so I had to move it back a little bit. Um, <laughs> it would only go back a couple of foundations and then it wouldn't let me go any further because it was too low. So I had to start back here. I lined it up here with the house by placing a pillar here between, snapping a pillar in to that foundation and then snapping this foundation down. So I know it's lined up. I think we're going to go five by five. I've tested this out. And uh, what I do before I waste resources, considering how, you know, this is a, a primitive unmodded game and everything, it's harder to get resources. So I have one thatch foundation. I just run along and make sure that I can still snap before I bother building foundations. And I know I can snap these here. And I think I could probably go further if I wanted to, but I don't think I really want to at this point because I don't know how many... Yeah, I can go another one up, no problem. I think I could even go further. I don't know how many different seeds there are. Five by five seems plenty to me uh, for now. So it's a matter of now creating the crop plots. And I think, I think, let's test out whether or not I've learned the plots. I have learned all the way up to large. Um, I think I want to go ahead and use large crop plots just to get the most out of them. And also put up the walls. So I think I need to kind of put up the walls first, though. So what does... Uh, do I have the greenhouse stuff? I don't know that I have it learned. I have not learned it. Greenhouse wall. Greenhouse ceiling. Door. Door. I don't think I'm going to spin the Ingram points yet to learn the slope stuff. So I'm going to make it a big rectangle for now. 
Um, but what do these require? This is smithy stuff, right? Isn't it? I hope it's smithy stuff. It is. Good. I'm going to need a lot more metal, so I'm going to make some runs up there with our RG. And I have some cementing paste. I don't know if I have enough. I'm going to have to get some crystal, too. So I'm going to make some runs for some resources, guys. Then we're going to build up the walls. And then we're going to put the plots in. And, and we're also going to irrigate. And I don't know if I should irrigate first. I think I'm going to irrigate after I'm done. Just so that I know where everything is. And I think we're going to have an entrance to it here. It seems to make sense. I might even connect it with the foundation. And we might have a second entrance right here. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to go collect a whole bunch of resources. A lot of trips up to the mountain with, uh, what's her name? Missy? Yeah, with Missy. And uh, I'll be back. We're back under the cover of darkness, and I've been searching for crystal. And, of course, they're hidden underneath rocks uh, here on Shigo Islands. Uh, uh, most of them are. And I discovered a cool, cool technique. Wait till it gets to be night. Unfortunately, the nights are short here. Fly above the mountain, and you can see a slight glow where little teeny bits of crystal stick out. So I've been using my hatchet to kill the rock because it's less wear on my pick. And I'm going to actually gamma up here because it's almost morning anyway. Uh, and uh, then use my, my pick to get the crystal. And that's been fairly successful. It's very time-consuming and tedious. Ooh, there were two of them here. Nice. Uh, but it works. It works. It, it does the trick. All right. Oh, oh, see, there's more right there. There's another one. Nice. Okay. So, I've made all of the uh, <laughs> greenhouse elements I could make with the crystal I could find searching for a couple of hours. Which isn't much. I've made one door. And I might even make all doors and just leave them doorless. Because it would take less materials to do that. Uh, which is kind of cheaty, but, you know, um, it gets the job done. But these crystals are so hard to find. Most resources, except wood, stone, and thatch, and fiber, are really hard to find on Shigo Islands. Uh, and again, I've, I've said it before, the developer says this map is not done. Uh, the developer is planning to uh, fill out the remainder of the uh, resources and, and give us the kind of resources we expect. But right now, man, it is tough. It is tough to get metal. Um, you can get metal in the amounts you usually need, but crystal, wow, that one is so, so lacking. And I don't know why the developer of this map decided to hide the crystal. I think it's to make it a harder, you know, a scarcer resource, but does the developer understand how important crystal is to any sort of significant crafting? And to, to not only hide it, but to have such... such small amounts of it up there. I, 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 I have to question, has this developer of this map actually played much Ark? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kind of half-joking there. Okay, we're back, and we found it! <laughs> it's, uh, um, it's hard to tell on the map, of course, because the pins are slightly off on Shigo Islands, but it's basically over here. Uh, the bridge, let me bring this up, the, the bridge is over here, I believe. So it really is kind of like on the opposite side of the map. So it really is, if you draw a straight line, this is where my base is, uh, right here, here, here. Right here is where my base is. If you kind of draw a line like that, it comes right, right across to where the, the cave is. So uh, we're pretty good in that regard. Now, the question is, I've never been in here. I found the entrance and went away, and I thought, you know, I'm going to explore this with you guys. Okay, yeah, it is a water entrance. Now I have cave flying enabled on a lot of servers you're on. You're not going to have that. Um, looks like I might need to gamma up, although I don't think I've loaded the cave yet. We'll gamma a little bit anyway. I hope I can get through with the flyer. Because this will be a real tough way to get some crystal. If I have to go through on foot. Okay. I think that's a bad guy? Or is that just a piece of rock? What is that? It is a bad guy. It's a Titan Boa. At least it looks like a Titan Boa. So I'm loaded in. I've got some bats up there. 
Well, there's a Titan Boa. Let's head back, actually, a little bit. Kind of lead them to me if I can. Yeah. All right, I killed the Titan Boa. At least I don't have crazy levels in here, which is good. I did get a little toxed, which is not good. Is that a Titan Boa trying to get to me, or is that the dead one? I'm very confused. I think that's the ragdoll one. <laughs> Okay, there is some crystal. I don't know. Oh, what? There's some other cool stuff up there, too. I kind of want to look through this whole place. Let's look through it before we come back for the crystal. There's a bat I'm going to need to fight. Oh, I can go up from here, too. That's interesting. Oh, is that the artifact right there? I think that was the artifact. That is like the closest it is. Wow. Going to be kind of dangerous. There's snakes down there. All right, I have. I want to back up, but I can't back up. So if you hold back and jump, you kind of float, back, float backwards. And now I'll try to tell the Tyranodon to land again, which it's not doing. <laughs> okay, it's kind of going to be kind of tricky to get off there and not fall down. Let's do it this direction instead. There we go. All right. Artifact. Awesome. I don't know why I'm taking an artifact. I don't need one, but just to have one, I guess. I really came here for crystal. But that's cool to know. It's just inside the cave. Just turn around and go up. Okay, we've got more crystal up here, more crystal down there. Nice. Doesn't look like the cave is very well populated. At least not so far. So we can get some good amounts of crystal without getting a lot of... Oh yeah, there's good amounts of crystal in here. So maybe the map developer decided if you want crystal, you're going to have to go to caves. Maybe that's the deal. Maybe that's what why uh, the map developer put the crystal underneath rocks so much on the mountains. I'm imagining. But... If you're, uh, if you're doing cave exploration on foot, which most people have to do, they can't fly, um, you're asking a lot uh, for them to carry all of that with them. Because most people can't carry that much stuff. We need to, to detox here because uh, this guy can't uh, handle a lot of toxicity. Torpor is not too terribly high. I don't. Well, I like the hide. I can get that anywhere, so I'm going to drop it. All right, and I'm going to push through to this cave, guys, and uh, I think at this point I'm just going to get as much crystal as I can and get the heck out of here because I need to finish that greenhouse. But th this is a cave worth exploring in the future, I think. Well, that cave's kind of a bust. <laughs> I mean, uh, I got a little bit of crystal, but it's just so much work to get so little crystal for such a long distance away that, you know, I'm back to my feeling of I really wish the developer would add more crystal nodes up there and stop hiding them. I, I mean, it does... Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why the developer did that. I mean, I mean, I imagine thinking, oh, let's make it a challenge. It's a rare resource. Let's make it hard. But come on, man. You need crystal for simple things like greenhouse uh, to make crops that you can use to, to make kibble, to tame. I mean, crystal is really important, and it's early game stuff, man. It's not like the rarest of resources. I mean, you make obsidian easier to find. Obsidian is more in-game stuff than crystal, so... I don't get it. I don't get it. If I had one suggestion to this map maker, it's please stop hiding your crystal and please add more. Please? Okay. Well, I finally reached the point where I've collected enough crystal after a couple of hours of going from mountain to mountain to mountain and cave again uh, that I've run out of cementing paste. So <laughs> now it's time to find another beaver dam. Um, if I can find one. If not, I'm going to have to go the old-fashioned route and grind up my keratin and chitin, I guess. Hmm. Don't see one over here anywhere. Or I found one last time. Let's go see if they're over here on the other side of the lake. They might be. They might have moved. I hope. There's a beaver, I think, up there on the right. I'm pretty sure that's a beaver. Yeah, that's a beaver. Looks like is that another one down there? No, it's a lystro. Oh, here's a beaver dam. Nice. 
I might have to move this beaver out of that one and the other one out of range. I don't think he can get up here, actually. He's trying. This one, however, I need to deposit you in the. Oh, oh. hello. Hello. There you go. <laughs> 32. Deposit you in the lake. You like the lake? I don't want to have to kill you. Are there any more beavers hanging around up here? Uh, no. Well, we'll find out pretty shortly if there are. I was almost hoping that was another beaver dam. It's just a rock. Okay, so just one beaver dam again. Man. Okay. Yes. Give me the cementing paste. Okay. Oh, it did get up here. Oh no, it was a Dilo. <laughs> okay, um, mostly complete. I went for doorways, <laughs> as you might be able to see from here. Uh, and I'm hoping that without doors, uh, they'll still work. We'll find out as soon as I put the crop plots in there. I'm missing one ceiling. I'm not short of crystal. So I'm going to make one more run up to the mountain. And hopefully, hopefully they respond up here by now. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to go to another mountain and try to find some crystal. And then finish my, my greenhouse so I can actually start planting some crops. Okay, we are back. I've been making a bunch of crop plots. Um, collecting a bunch of stone, mostly. Then I'm going to go ahead. I've got 20 of them now. Large crop plots. I've got my last ceiling. The real question to me is going to be... I don't want to make a mistake in placement. I can't afford a crystal. Um, do I still get my, my bonus? Now over here, I'm pretty sure I will, but then again, I don't know. So let's go ahead and move these guys to zero. It's just easier for me to hit zero. And also, I know the reason I, I wanted to do two stories tall, two walls tall here, but I can't because crystal is just too hard to get. Um, I wanted to do two because crop plots do collide. So I'm going to have to crouch every time I'm in here, which is okay. Well, I can live with it. Okay, we'll have to wait on that greenhouse effect. It'll it'll charge up. I'm hoping I don't have to put doors in. Otherwise, I'm going <laughs> to... Another couple of hours of collecting crystal. Alright. Let's see what the first one says. 300, yes! 300, good. That's the max we can get in Vanilla Arc. So I'm good with that. Am I lined up? Kind of, sort of. These are going to be rough. These are going to be rough. Get that turtle out there. That's a 90-something male turtle. If it was a female, I'd grab it immediately for the eggs. But 90-something? Uh, I, I can hold up. What's over there? There's a cat down here? Oh, saber tooth. Hang on. Got to deal with it. Sometimes they come down from the hill. Got to deal with them. There he is. What's your level? 56? I wouldn't mind having a saber tooth. Let's just throw you in the old taming pit for the moment. Well, you didn't make it in. That's okay. You will this time. Ah, uh, well, that one probably didn't make you in either. Yes! Made it in. All right. I'll leave him there for a while. He'll either despawn or I'll be able to tame him later. Okay. Back to work. <laughs> I'm going to place all these crop plots around here, guys. Uh, I have 20. There's 25. It's 5x5, five five, so it could be 25. So I'm going to be leaving a path. And I think it's going to be right here, the path, because there's an actual door there. Um, eventually, someday, I might upgrade these other doors to be um, walls. But then again, you know, Why? Why would I upgrade? I don't think I'm going to fit one in here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I think I've... I think I've collided. Okay, well, maybe the path won't be there. Maybe the path will be back here. <laughs> okay. I hate not being able to look down. I can't look down, right? Not easily look down. It's trying to place on the top, no matter how hard I try. 
Okay, I've placed all the ones I can place. Unfortunately, that means it's going to be 16 of them. Uh, these other squares just will collide, and I cannot place. Even down this, I tried placing down this aisle, too, and I can't. Definitely can't place out here. That's fine. I have four more crop plots. I will use these as plant species X crop plots to target wild critters, because as you saw, <laughs> I sometimes have some unwelcome visitors. I might put, on top of my work uh, shed here, I might put uh, four species X or a couple species X and maybe a couple down low or something uh, at some point in the near future. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those in here just for storage. I'll probably forget they exist, but oh well. Um, now we need to uh, handle irrigation for these guys, and that's going to be stone-based stone pipes, uh, stone and some wood. So it looks like we might need to go get some more stone. Uh, we have some to start with. Let's grab a little bit of wood as well. And I don't know that I've learned any pipes. I haven't learned any piping. So let's go ahead and come out here. Let's learn our piping. And uh, we're going to need an intake to start with for sure. Some taps and some intersections are pretty much guaranteed. Let's go ahead and see if that's going to be enough for us to do what we need to do. Uh, let's get an intake going. I don't know how many taps we're going to need. We're definitely going to need a bunch of straights. We're going to need some crosses. I'm going to need more stone. <laughs> we'll irrigate uh, over here first, and then we'll worry about irrigating the house later. Whoop. See, we're going to have to crouch every time we come in here, which is kind of annoying. At least we can go a little bit faster. At least we can stand up right here, I guess. That's good. Okay, where do we want the irrigation to come in? Um, coming in in the center and branching off makes sense, but it actually doesn't really matter where you come in, right? So let's, let's actually shoot for here for our tap. Let's see if this is going to work. Uh, or right here in between. Eh. Let's conserve. I have to crouch. Let's conserve by tapping here. It's blue, which is good. It means I've got good water. Let's see where that cross piece is going to land if I do this. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, right? Yeah. Actually, my angles were really bad here, weren't they? <laughs> oh, well. Go ahead and throw the straights. Actually, I might want to just do cross, cross. Yeah, let me throw some straights over here, though. Okay, I'll throw the taps in. You don't need a tap for every one. Um, it's amazing how far the taps will go. In fact, I don't even think I need this tap. I don't want to destroy the crop plot, please. Thank you. Stone water pipe. I think this tap will... Oh, I don't have a tap. I didn't make a tap. <laughs> Let me go gather some more stone and we'll finish this thing out. Come on, Billy. Okay, I actually placed uh, all the irrigation down here before and noticed that um, just with a couple of these, everything was irrigated. But I don't like all the pipes and all the misalignments. So what I'm thinking of doing instead is a con is a sort of a... a uh, since we're so close to the water table... I'm thinking of doing this. Between each four, you drop one of those, and then you put one of these down, and now you've got water, you've got no wasted pipage, and you should be irrigated all along the four, and you are, all four irrigated. So I'm thinking of doing that same thing here, and in fact, I might even be able to get away with just one in the middle, but I'm going to demolish these because I don't, I don't like all this pipe crisscrossing when it's not necessary. I mean, I wouldn't mind it if it was required to get the water here, like the water was further away, but we don't need it. So that's not between the two, so we're going to just demolish that one. Okay, we've got our uh, got our greenhouse going here, and I've got, the, I've got a, a whole bunch of seeds. I'm going to plant the first four only because I only have four fertilizer right now. I've set up some crop plots out there, or crop plots, compost bins out there, as you can see. I think we'll set over here the primary four. These will be our primary four. So we'll put, go ahead and put some Savo root and a fertilizer. And then some citronol and a fertilizer. And then some long grass and a fertilizer. And finally, rock carrot and a fertilizer. And we'll just try to make more fertilizer farming the poop from the animals as much as we can. You might even get a poop drawn. <laughs> A.K.A. a uh, Fiomia, the gamma down here, guys. Oh, much nicer. Anyway, guys, 
Uh, that's all we got time for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.